Hello, my name is Will Carmack, and in today's After Effects tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to take static pictures of water and then make it look like the surface is bubbling or flowing. So you'll be able to bring any photo or static image to life with this effect where you can make any kind of water move and it's super easy. And before we jump into this water animation masterclass, I'd like to thank my amazing sponsor. Squarespace! So here in After Effects, you can see I have this shot that I've basically masked myself into where I have this river to my right, but it looks really boring because nothing's happening. I'm just like laying down in this wide shot. But to make this really cool, I want the water to be flowing like an actual river. So our first step is we're gonna hit Control Y, which creates a brand new solid. Um, I'm gonna call this Water Noise, and we can leave it at white and click OK. And if we come up to our Effects and Presets panel, and type in fractal, we can click on this effect right here, which is called fractal noise. And you can see right off the bat that it's giving like water texture. And now you'll see in the fractal noise options over here that we can play around with the evolution. And when we crank up the evolution, it kind of looks like the pattern of the, like the surface of water. So we're gonna hold down the alt button and click on evolution. We're gonna type in an expression time asterisk, and then we'll do 150. What this is gonna do is automate the movement of the evolution to be constantly swirling. So you get this cool watery texture. And now to actually apply this to the scene below it right here, what we're gonna do is in the blending mode, we're actually gonna change it to soft light. So let's focus on just the water right here. See, that looks really nice, but it is applied to literally everything else on the um, composition. So in this case, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna select everything except the water noise. I'm gonna hit Control D to duplicate everything, and I'm going to pre-compose it. I'm gonna name this River Map. So if you come to the Roto Brush tool and click on this uh, mat that you've created, we can just go through and use that to select everything that's not the river. And if we give that a preview, now you can see everything but the river is masked out. And I'm just gonna hit Freeze. And so now, when we go back into our composition, we're actually gonna pre-compose this and name it River Mat, and right click on it, hit Time and freeze frame. And now we can bring the water noise layer under this mat and check it out. The water effect is now only happening where the river is. So let's watch that back. That looks nice. It definitely gives a lot of watery texture to it, but we want this to be a flowing river. So how are we going to get the water to move downstream? So if we click on the water noise layer under transform, there's actually an offset turbulence effect right here. And if I create a keyframe for offset turbulence and I bring this keyframe to the very beginning of the composition, and then at the end, and I crank the Y position down, you can see that we're moving the fractal noise effect down. So now if we watch that back, you can see that the water is flowing downstream. And to make this look more like a river, on the fractal noise layer, we can uncheck uniform scaling right here. We can make the width of this smaller. So if we solo this, you can see what we're doing. We're making it more thin. Um, that would be maybe more like a river that's flowing. Because this is a thin river. River. So now we can create these little patterns where it's skinnier. And if I solo that, if we look at the fractal noise now, it went from being big and chunky to really thin and spliny. And so when we look at that back, it really looks like I'm next to a flowing river. And because all the layers of this video are attached to a null, we can now add two different scaling keyframes and create a little cinematic zoom of me laying next to a river. And a great tip with this effect is you can see how the water is light and dark in certain areas. If we want to make this more subtle, in fractal noise, contrast is what makes this darker or brighter. So if I solo the water layer and I crank up contrast, you can see that it gets darker and wider. But if I bring the contrast down, everything gets more soft. And so if I set this to like 40, you can see now the animation is really subtle on the side of this river here. But if I wanted to make it really aggressive, I could crank this up to like 195. And now the river looks more like a dark ocean moment. And so it's really player's choice. It's a really Really customizable effect because you can keep messing around with the width and the scale of this to really make it look a million different ways. Like that looks kind of cool. Gorgeous. Now on to our next scene. You can see here in this wedding photo I animated that the water is rippling in the background. So here in this scene you can see originally that the water is not moving at all but we want that white shininess of the ocean to be trickling in the background. So what we're gonna do is we're actually going to create a new solid by hitting Control Y and we'll 
name this ocean noise. Because these are all 3D layers, what I'm gonna do is turn this white solid into a 3D layer. And then the ocean layer, I'm going to come down to its transform properties, hit control C to copy, and then I'm going to paste it onto the ocean. So it's gonna connect right to the ocean layer. We're gonna scale this solid up to match the ocean. And so once it's covering the whole ocean, what we're gonna do is we're gonna apply fractal noise. So now we have the fractal noise layer right above our ocean. And so we're gonna alt click on evolution and we're gonna type in the expression time, asterisk, and then let's do 300. So now as we watch that back, you can see that it's rippling just like water would. So now, in like the last one, we could set it to overlay, but if you notice, it's not actually making the white part of the water move around, which is the effect we want in this specific scene. And also this will give you a good idea of where you want your solid to be scaled to. So now this white solid is just on the ocean. Now, while that looks really cool, we want the whiteness of the ocean to be like displaced properly. So we're actually gonna take it off overlay and put it to normal. And we're gonna create layer, new and adjustment layer. We're gonna name this adjustment layer displacement map because if we come to effects and presets and type in displacement right here there's an effect called displacement map and we're gonna put that on this adjustment layer and we're going to have the layer that it's sourcing from b15 which is ocean noise and you can see here for horizontal displacement we're gonna set this from red to luminance and then right here for vertical displacement from green to luminance and now we can actually make the ocean noise layer invisible and in displacement layer we're gonna take it to effects and masks. So now, as you can see, it is referencing the layer as a displacement map. So on our displacement map, let's max horizontal displacement. We're gonna make the horizontal displacement around 52. That looks really juicy. And then the vertical displacement, we'll leave that small. Maybe we'll leave it at five. So now you can see the whites of the water is actually starting to move around. But I don't necessarily like how jumbled the ocean water looks. So we'll come back to our ocean noise layer and we'll pray play around with the width until we start seeing more of the details of the white there. That looks good, but too chunky. So I'll play around with the height and that looks pretty good, but it's actually moving too fast for my liking. So on the evolution, so if we hit U to drop down everything on this layer, we can double click on the uh, evolution keyframe. And to make this look better, I'm gonna change it to maybe 150. See, and now we're cooking. And I think I wanna isolate this displacement to just the white part of this ocean. So for this, I'm gonna grab uh, the, the pin tool and create a mass around my adjustment layer to where just this water ripple in the middle is. So I'll keyframe that over time to just follow where the river ripple is in the middle. I'll feather out this mask. And so now if we watch that back, the middle water is moving just like how we would want it. And if I unisolate these layers and look at the whole thing, now as it's playing back, you can see in the background that the water is rippling and moving. This just looks excellent. I love this detail when I'm animating photos because then you can turn water into a beautiful aesthetic set piece. And so that is how you use fractal noise and displacement maps to create moving water and static images. If you have any questions, leave them in the Instagram comments below, or you can message me on Instagram where I always answer editing questions. And if you want to help me keep creating these educational videos on editing, I'd appreciate if you checked out my incredible sponsor, Squarespace. From online stores and marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is your best option for making a website. If you want an incredibly customized and personalized website, well, you're in luck because with Squarespace's new design system, Squarespace Blueprint, you'll be able to select from professionally curated templates. So you'll be able to pick a design that is good for your vibe or brand. And with their optimized SEO tools, you'll be able to get discovered way faster and way easier. And let's say you're a business person and you've got products you wanna sell. And with Squarespace's flexible payments, you'll be able to accept every form of currency, Apple Pay, credit cards, PayPal. You'll even be able to use pay later features. So your online store can sell your goods and you'll be able to make it as convenient as possible for your customers. And lastly, if you don't want to rely on just the professionally designed templates that Squarespace offers, Squarespace's Fluid Engine lets you edit and customize from your launching off point. So you can use one of these templates as your starting point. And then from there, use all of the incredible editing tools that Squarespace offers for you to make every page look exactly how you like. And everybody, the best part is I got you a discount code. 
So if you go to squarespace.com slash Will Carmack, you'll be able to get 10% off your first website or domain. Thank you for sponsoring this video, Squarespace. I hope you all check them out. And don't forget, where there's a will, there's a way. My name is Will, and have a nice day.